Hello everybody, it's me, Adrian the Digital Lover, and welcome to SpongeBob. In this episode, um, I'm going to be watching over the dragons as they grow up. It's going to be kind of a short episode. I was going to attach this with the next episode, which was when I was going to go into Twilight Forest and like go through a dungeon, but uh, that ended up coming up longer, so I can't really put them together. So unfortunately, this episode is going to be kind of short, but eh, it's fine. I mean, it's good to have a short episode once in a while. <laughs> anyway, I. <laughs> I'll leave you guys at the past stage now. Okay, egg update. The eggs are now like shaking and moving, which means that I think they're gonna hatch soon. I'm guessing. I think they actually shake a lot more before they do hatch. Right now, they're kind of just shaking. I think there's one shaking too. Okay, are you shaking? Yeah, it's shaking. It's like crammed in this corner here. Let me help you out with the other leg. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I will note if you want to break these, you can use a diamond pickaxe. I've, I I'm not going to, which you know it would be terrible because that just breaks the whole point. But you could. Don't lie. It's bad. But yeah, I'll keep an eye on these eggs. Honestly, they might hatch pretty soon. Okay, update. The egg, the egg is hatched. We now have a little baby fire dragon here. Yeah, they kind of got their face in the wall. Are you okay, the little fire dragon? I'm trying to like scroll to my gravity gun. So I can have a good look at them. But yeah, this is how they look. So don't go too far, you're gonna like get yourself hurt. But yeah, this isn't them fully growing, but I'm gonna have to move them at some point. The only thing place I can think that's relatively safe is my attic. So move them up there. Okay. I say relatively safe, it's not completely safe in there, but it's not terrible. Oh, and they make um, dragon sounds. <laughs> because, you know, they're dragons. I see, is this one hatched? Yeah. We've got another dragon. Come on, my little dragon. I will take you over here. You can live in here with your sister. So, anyway, let them get to know each other. They're gonna like go downstairs. Anyway, I'm gonna have to put some trap doors here so they don't like running down up and down these stairs. Later. Okay, update. The egg, the egg is hatched. We now have a little baby fire dragon here. Yeah, they kind of got their face in the wall. Are you okay, the little fire dragon? I'm trying to like scroll to my gravity gun so I can have a good look at them. But yeah, this is how they look. So don't go too far. You're gonna like. Get yourself hurt. But yeah, this isn't them fully growing, but I'm gonna have to move them at some point. The only thing place I can think that's relatively safe is my attic. So move them up there. Okay. I say relatively safe, it's not completely safe in there, but it's not terrible. Oh, and they make um, dragon sounds. <laughs> Because, you know, they're dragons. I see, is this one hatched? Yeah. We've got another dragon. Come on, my little dragon. I will take you over here. Anyway, I'll let them get to know each other. They're gonna, like, go downstairs. Anyway, I'm gonna have to put some trap doors here so they don't, like, running down, up and down these stairs. Much later. Okay, they're growing up pretty well. So they're a lot bigger, I think. <laughs> Anyway, they're still considered babies, although once they fully grow, they won't be considered that anymore. I'm just worried they might get like suffocated in like the wall. Can you come there. I need to move over there. That reminds me, I need to get like a name tag for these. They don't do spawn or anything, but they it's nice to like name them, and you can't really name them through normal means. I keep them blocks behind them. Can you come there. <laughs> much, much later. Okay, they're fully grown now. We now have a fully grown fire dragon over here. And a fully grown never dragon over here. And they got their names ready. So we'll just move these down. I'm gonna name the fire dragon Ember. 
Because it's clearly a girl, and you know, he's a girl's name. Can I even name them? Maybe I'll detain them first. Now, how you tame them is you need you, you give them raw fish. For some reason, they really like raw fish. Why, why aren't you taking my raw fish? Take it. Okay, there you go. Apparently, you have to like get them like down here. Let me tame ya. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Which means that these two are gonna breed. And yeah, that's how you get a more. By the way, like more eggs you can actually just breed the dragons i guess i'll leave that egg here actually i can just break it <laughs> but yeah you can break them as i said earlier i wouldn't recommend you do but you can i'm going to break that one just because i don't really want another dragon right now but there is one thing to keep in mind you can breed these dragons if you um happen to get multiple dragon eggs through mods or whatever and let's see if I can actually name them now. It also might be that I just have to be at a right angle. Okay, there you go. We've got Ember. And... Should I just name both of them Ember? I swear, your name is Jack too. Anyway, uh, since they're gonna like follow me, can, can you two like come over here? You know, I have to like get a hitbox. Okay, come over here. I'm gonna sit you down. What you can do is, if you have a bone in your hand and you click them with the bone, it will sit them down. They're like floating on tables, so they're a bit higher up. Yeah, let's go get another name tag. I can only teleport it down with those. Okay, I got the name tag. And there you go. So, Ember and Drake 2. Now, you're probably wondering why am I calling him Drake 2 and not just Drake? Well, uh, story time. Back in the first Fun World, the very first Fun World in X360, when I started my channel, um, I had a Never Dragon. Well, it wasn't really a Never Dragon, it was a Dragon statue, so to say. But I called them a Never Dragon and they were Drake, basically. And Drake died on top of the Cake Factory, in fact during the um, RP Ever Nights I did where the, the, the nights like never ended or seriously never ended they did eventually end but still but yeah Drake sadly passed away and there's several statues related to him in some of the different worlds that I've made actually but yeah this is going to be Drake too not his son but you know And yeah, this is just Ember. You know, what you can do is you can ride them as well. Let me go get a saddle. Probably could have got that while I was getting a name tag, but here we go. Okay. I got some saddles and I guess we should move these guys outside, so we're gonna just move you out of the way. Let me get my gravity gun out. I'm having some troubles like selecting things. But yeah, we just break down this wall for now. We can rebuild it later anyway. It's not a big issue. We'll move them outside. I'll have to build a little room for them or something. Or put something out here. On the roof. Okay, come my dragons. Uh, actually, I can just lift them up with a gravity gun. I've raised you all I can indoors. You have to bear the outside world once again. <laughs> I'll fix that off off camera, I guess. But yeah, but yeah, you can ride these guys. So let's equip them with saddle. And we'll put a saddle in here, I guess. And we'll ride Amber, I guess. Or Ember. <laughs> anyway, if we press the numpad 8, we can fly up. We can press numpad 2 to fly down. And yeah, you can actually like fly. Like I'm legit flying a dragon. It looks really cool. Although it kind of looks like I'm going to fall off. I don't think you can like attack with them or anything. Let me check the controls. I can't remember exactly what you can do with them. It doesn't seem like you can. But yeah, you can... They don't really attack. 
when you're riding them. You can attack like um, like if you get off them and like punch on them. Like that's the way down to this horse, which I believe was the horse in the last episode. Actually, we'll look around for the same gal, so I don't want to ride that horse now that I think about it. We had too much dirt to them together. These horses, however, they, they are, I don't really care about them as much. But yeah, you get off them uh, the same way as normal. So yeah, we'll make them stand up. And if we punch them, they'll go after it. And they're pretty strong, actually. Well, not in. Not, they're, they're actually about the same strength as a wolf, I believe. They're not overly powerful, but they can do quite a hit. That's what you see. It'll punch you. Let's see how much damage you do. Actually, never mind. They do do quite a bit of damage. They are actually pretty strong, and I don't think they're strong enough to take out an Inferno mob. Like, although, like I said last time, the mobs usually don't attack these guys. Usually, I remember I was messing around with them, and I was getting them to attack Slenderman, and Slenderman would not at attack the dragon. He's just, you know. He's just not brave enough for him. It's kind of hard to fly, like, perfectly. But yeah, you can fly pretty well. Okay, I'll sit you down so you're not, like, following me. And yeah, I'll let them chill here for now. I'll have to build a nest or something for them to chill on. Maybe on that uh, little planet over there. Because over here there's like a little planet, I'm, well I, I didn't make this, this just happened to spawn actually. I was going to say I made it, but no, it spawned over here. But yeah, there's this little planet, maybe I can use this or something. I haven't really been over here that much. Let's get it unlocked on our map. Yeah, I'm going to head back home. But yeah, I'm not sure if I should have this as its own episode or if I should attach this to a bigger episode. I'll have to think about that. But anyway, I'm going to end this off here. I'll leave you guys with future Adrian, I guess, to leave him to decide what to do with these. I'm going to get some sleep. So take it away, future... Adrian or whatever. They...